all right hello I'm back and this is the microwave test this is a 700 watt microwave I hope I can get that in because it's kind of hard to see out here right now here's some water and just so you know that is cold 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 I just got it out of the sink now I don't know how well this is gonna do because I just did the um, test on the electric skillet so I've already drawn some power out of my batteries so we're fixing to see what happens turn that on we're 13.42 microwaves working we're down to 12.4 12.24 I put it on for three minutes now remember I just got done running a test just got done running an electric skillet so my batteries have already been discharged some um, this is a 1100 watt inverter once again uh, watch my video on the four mistakes you make when going with solar if you want to get a better understanding now it's down to 1170 and it seems to be holding stable and there it goes it's slowly dropping and you can see my solar is trying to kick in something but I mean it's there are clouds it's dark um, there's really not much going on out here as far as all my solar panels are barely getting any light. Um, so, there goes the fan on the inverter. Now, I'm doing this because I got an argument with a guy over uh, running a microwave off of an inverter. He told me, along with other people, you have to have a 2500 watt microwave. That's an absolute lie for running a 700 watt microwave. Uh, I'm sorry, a 2500 watt inverter. Uh, I'm rambling here. I'm trying to get everything in before this camera stops and restarts again. Once again, if you're going to go solar for things like an emergency backup, for a fridge, or even a deep freeze, something, one, your storage capacity has to be large enough. Now, my two batteries have run a air conditioner on low for up to uh, like six hours. They will also run the computer, you know, laptop, things like that. We have a backup system for one thing and only one thing. Basically, when our lights are out, we plug our fridge in, let it run for 15, 20 minutes, and unplug it. Okay. Unfortunately, this microwave is like lopsided right now. Um, so, and then once we unplug it, we can use the power for whatever we need, like charging the laptop, things like that. Now, you can hear the microwave because I do have a modified sine wave inverter. And right now, the inverter itself is not grounded. If I was going to hook this up permanently, the inverter would be grounded and so would the batteries. But remember, for a small backup system, I suggest 400 watts of solar. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see the steam that was in there for three minutes all right my power is at 12 4 0 or 1248 that's 1248 and of course zero watts so my batteries didn't go down that much so yes you can run a microwave off a 1100 watt power inverter that costs a hundred dollars two cheap Walmart batteries and like I said, my batteries are four and five years old. But if you're going to do this, make some larger cables. That's a big mistake people do is they use these really small cables. And make sure you have enough solar. So, um, I don't know if you can still see the steam. I hope you can with this camera. I, I really can't tell. But anyway, 
this is proof on a small solar setup you can actually run some things like a microwave like even you know I, I would not recommend doing the electric skillet that will actually burn up your batteries really quick anything that's super high discharge stay away from anything with a heating element if possible avoid unless you have to actually make like a thing of coffee you know avoid anything with a heating element off your batteries anyway that is I don't know if you can still see it that is running a microwave 700 watt microwave and now yeah, that is hot um, off a power inverter now I'm going to try to attempt which I can't do with this plug in give me just a second I hate getting in the way. All right, here are the specs for this. And I did argue with this guy on this. A 700 watt, usually generally over just over a thousand to 1100 watts. This will use 1,050 watts kicking. All right. So as long as your inverter is over 1,050 watts. You should have no issues at all running a 700 watt microwave. All right. And for the guy that said, well, I run my deep fryer and, you know, not deep fryer, but my electric skillet on my really expensive 2500 watt power inverter. Guess what, dude? 1100 watts and it ran our electric skillet. If you don't believe me, check out my last video. All right. That's it. Everyone have a good one. Bye.